Glory to God. Father, pray you might speak and I might be silent in Jesus' name. Father, may this word go forward with sound, with power, and with the Holy Ghost. Jesus' name, Yeshua's name, amen. Glory to God, saints. One morning, waking up, I felt the marks being put in my forehead of a cross, and there were a, ver a vertical stroke on each side. I didn't know what it was. I had no idea, but I felt it. It was in waking up, just before getting up in that half asleep, half awake state. And But I, I felt it, and I knew. Before we go into this, I want to read Acts 10, 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. God is no respecter of persons. Just because you were born in a certain place, your father is this, your father is that, uh, or your mother is this, your mother is that, God will, well, the truth is God will call the child of a holy person, Hosea 4, 6. Uh, people destroy for lack of knowledge because you reject knowledge, you got rejected. You shall be no priest to me because you have forgotten my law, I'll forget your children. God will, we see Zechariah having John the Baptist, God sometimes will step in and, and, and decree and, 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 and call a child early. But the child still has to walk in the, in, in the laws of the Lord. So God is no respecter of persons. So with the blessing that I speak of today, God can give to anyone. And often too, I found out sometimes God will bless you and you don't even know you're blessed. So as I speak this, you know, I like what Sid Roth does. He, he, he tries to speak of the blessings as being available to everyone. But as I've shared this, I, I sense there's always been a resentment that I'm trying to say. And I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. I'm just saying the Lord had mercy on me. Years ago, I asked the Lord to cripple me or give me his will. It was a foolish thing. It was a foolish thing. But God had mercy upon me. There are times I'm about to do something and the Lord showed me that this will lead you to a wheelchair, and I've had to repent. Since the time I've made that statement, I've had to make many changes. So as I fearfully and trembling this, go through the word of God today, I'm no better than anybody else, but God is no respecter of persons, and God will come at you like you come at him. Amen and praise God. In Ezekiel 9, 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. This mark, in most translations, it doesn't say what the mark is. It does not. Uh, but in the Orthodox Jewish Bible, in the ancient texts, it says, And Hashem said unto him, Go through the midst of the earth, through the midst of Yerushalayim, I think that's reference to Jerusalem, and put a tove, tove, upon the mitzekot forehead of the Anashim that grieve and lament for kol hato evot that are being done in the midst thereof. Hallelujah. Here, here in the, the, the Orthodox Jewish Bible, I like it because it keeps the Hebrew Hebrew and translates what, it's can, what it can. But the Tov, the Tov is the Paleo Hebrew. For, it, it was written as a cross in the Paleo Hebrew language. It was the covenant uh, name of God. Revelations 3.12, it says, Him that overcome cometh, will I make him the pillar, with a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Praise God, God bless name. Revelations 22, 4, And they shall see his face, and his name 
shall be in their foreheads. Revelation 9, 4. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Revelation 14, 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb. With the soul of goeth, these were they redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And I, Revelation 14, 1. And I looked, and lo, a Lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with them 144,000 having his name written in their foreheads. Praise God. I have not covered every place where the seal and the name in the forehead is written. But what I have done here now is established a foundation of scripture for this seal, this name of God in the forehead. Now let me say this church. Uh, the church today is crying out for houses, cars, money. And I'm not knocking that because I do too. I have a family. I want to bless them. Uh, God bless me. I want to build orphanages. It takes money. Uh, it takes money to, to, to do things. And God has ordained that things will be established by prosperity. So make no mistake here. I'm not speaking of uh, against financial prosperity. But I am today referring to soul prosperity. Because the name of God is riches. Oh, what is the name of God worth? Mm. The name of God, to have God mark you with his name. You know, before I did this message, and I've written a book about this at BibleBillboard.org. You can get it for free or you can buy it on Amazon. You can get it for free or you can buy it at Amazon. Sealed in the forehead. BibleBillboard.org. Uh, but there, I, I did a search in the on YouTube for the seal in the forehead, and it was amazing the the stuff that's out there. I did not hear one clear argument or, or discussion on this. But then I'm also to it, it's like there are some things you read of, but when you experience it. Hallelujah. I'll give you an example. You, you, it's one thing when, when, you, when you're a young boy coming up and people talk to you about being married and having a wife, but it's a whole other thing when you are married. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so as I speak of the seal in the forehead today, church, oh, I invite people to, uh, to come and, and, and share and, and share the word. But what, I, what I'm trying to say to the church is call out. For the seal in the forehead. Cry out for it. Come on now. Somebody, this is in the Bible. The word of God. This is a spiritual blessing. Seek the Lord. You know, it's interesting. The word, the word here says that the man who sighed and cried for all the abominations. God sealed people who hated sin. He sealed the people who hate this. What causes God to give a man this? Now, understand something. I have, when I was 14, received on the Deeper Life Ministries, Bishop Peter Morgan. Uh, we went in the room and they prayed for the Holy Spirit and I received the Holy Spirit at 14. I received the Holy Ghost. See, it's not just the, the Holy Spirit. It's more, it's, it's a higher level. Now remember, there are different levels in God. One brother, he gave five talents. One, he gave two. One, he gave one. There's different levels in God. I had foolishly asked God to cripple me or give me his will. But, and I'll tell you, there are times when God shows me that if I do this, I'm looking at a wheelchair Oh, praise God. So I had this agreement with God. God heard me. and But in his mercy, he says he began to clearly, convincingly point out the sin and say, get rid of that. Uh, get rid of this. Uh, uh, get rid of that. And I had to. 
I had to deny myself. I had to deny things that I love, but I, I oh my God, if if you infinity, infinity, praise God, infinity. Any wisdom that does not have the element of infinity is real, no real wisdom. And I knew the things of the, this world, the things of the devil are like milk. There's going to be a spoil. God said there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. So saints, you know, I, I, liked, I liked in Revelations 22, 4, it says, And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their forehead. I also like the fact, too, that God gave his name to Cain. God gave, well, set a mark. God set a mark on Cain. Mm. Genesis 4, 15, And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any find and should kill him. I'm not sure what that is, what that mark was. But Cain, when Cain killed Abel. Yet God put a mark upon him when he went and cried to God for mercy. So, is the God? What is your sin? Have you? I mean, what is your situation? If God marked Cain, I'm not saying it's the same mark, but if God marked Cain, mark of a protection, God can mark anybody under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah and praise God. Now, the first mark that was given me was the mark of the cross. Now, I see the churches marking people with that mark of the cross. Something tells me that they know whereof I'm speaking today. But this is this this mark, this seal in the forehead, this is not a club you're gonna join. This is God Himself. Oh my God! The Bible says uh, that in in Revelations, Revelations nine verse four, I believe, not Revelations nine four, it, it it speaks of an angel coming down from heaven, come an angel coming down from heaven, and putting the mark, this coming down with the seal of God. Revelations. 7 verse 4 saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have seen the servants of our God in their foreheads but verse 7 verse 2 and I saw another angel sent from the east having the seal of the living God so God sent an angel with his seal in the end time so this is not a uh, the, the church going to call you and, and and drop a mark in your forehead. This is God himself going to put that mark in your forehead. Amen. and praise God. Now, I spoke to my bishop, my bishop John C. Lewis. When this first happened, I was trying to have someone explain it to me. And I was telling them about the cross. And he said, boy, I don't know but what happened, but the cross, the seal of the forehead is the name of God. Now, I received three marks. I'm just telling you like it is. I, I received three marks. And the, the, in the three marks, two were like a vertical line. Interestingly, those vertical lines correspond to the new Hebrew for Vov. The, the the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. But the Bible, most translations only speak of the Tov. Most of the ancient scripts only speak of the Tov. I spoke to Bill Morford about it, and he said, "There's, there's more, this is a deeper mystery, church. But what I'm trying to say to you is, when I received my mark, there was three marks in my forehead. Now, Revelation 3.12 says, Him that overcometh, Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? And he shall go no more out, and I'll write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, 
which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. So here the Bible speaks of three, three marks being given. Praise God. I almost jumped out of my seat when I saw that. God will do that to me. He will show me his word. And you give me an experience. Then show it to me in his word. Amen and praise God. That way I'm, I'm, I'm utterly convinced. I, I, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm having a supernatural divine experience. Now you don't have to believe me. I've long given up on, 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 on people having to believe what I said. I just share the word, let the Holy Spirit do his work. My God, praise God. You know, the, the only thing is, what I do try to, what I do emphasize is there's, there's salvation by grace. Amen and praise God. I believe in that. I remember when, you know, going through, praise God, and people tell him, I was confessing my, my, my secret sins to another pastor. And he, uh, he said, boy, you keep serving the Lord. He said, you're going to get around the, the fire of God. And God is going to burn away everything that offends. See, there is justification. And then there is sanctification. Sanctification, that's beautification by the Holy Spirit. I can only compare it to when Pharaoh took Sarah from Abraham. He did not have sex with her right away. The Egyptians don't do that. They... They they, 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 they they lotion a woman, they, they perfume her, they till the, the lotion, her skin starts getting soft like the lotion. God will sanctify you, hallelujah and praise God. Jehovah, uh, make a dish came, the Lord our sanctifier. Oh God, you know, I, I, you know Solomon prayed for a beat wisdom. I pray for, Solomon prayed for wisdom and serve false gods. I pray for obedience. Hallelujah. Obedience. I pray for obedience with love. Obedience with wisdom. Amen. And praise God. It's not well. Deacon Bad, you say not well done, but well finished. Hallelujah. Let's finish this race strong and praise God. But I urge church folk today to cry out for the seal of God. Now somebody asked me, said, Brian, are you telling us that you wanted the 144,000? No, I'm not. Those are Jews. I haven't checked my DNA. I haven't submitted it. But notice Revelation 3.12 speaks about the overcomer. Revelation 12.11. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. By the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives to death. Accept Christ. Teach Christ. Obey Christ. Be willing to die for Christ. Hallelujah and praise God. So the overcomer. Gets written upon in Revelation 3.12. And so do the, the Jews. I don't understand all the mysteries. But I don't want to add to the book. I'm just trying to, to share. Uh, be a good steward. Uh, uh, this is a seed. Hallelujah and praise God. That I'm sowing. Into the kingdom of God. This word. This word. So yes money come to me. Yes, but the seal of God come to me too, Leroy. I love you, brother. You know, Leroy Thompson, God showed me to give him a $30 seed before we got our house. That brother's anointed for finances. But I'll tell you this. The seal in the forehead. The seal in the forehead. This is riches. Remember, I show you. I received it like this. And the vove. The vove. Now, interestingly, the vove is the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Six, six. The, the, the 22 is the cross. The devil's mark is six, six, six. Oh, six, six, six. Did the devil change the 22 
to six. Because God's number, as revealed to me, is six, twenty-two, six. Man's mind focused on God. But the devil's number is six, six, six. Man focused on man. Man has made himself his God. All man's efforts, this God is his belly. All man's efforts are for him. Oh, Lord, back up this word, Father. Now, I'm talking about Jesus Christ crucified and resurrected. Anybody on the sound of my voice hearing this word, I invite you to get saved. How do you get saved? Repent. Turn from your sin. Be believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. Romans 10 and 9 says, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Ask! Then receive. Receive what? Receive the Holy Spirit. The infilling of your body. But then there's another level. The seal in the forehead. I can't give it to you. God got to give it to you. And yes, you need to be water baptized. And I invite you to join with me at BibleBillboard.org. We're building, we want to inspire people. We use a portable projector to show the word. But we want to inspire people to put up billboards reading the Bible in every language of the world. Yes, money come to me. From the north, the east, the south, the west. But the, yes, the seal of God be placed in my forehead and in your forehead. Your have I been blessed. And keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Lift the light of his countenance upon you. Give you his seal. His shalom. Amen and praise God.